Hey everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions and today I want to talk about my new favorite Grand Larson called Novum. It's made by a company called Dawson and it is really amazing what it can do. So right off the bat, as you can see, the UI is colorful, it's visual, it's super inspiring. If you like that kind of stuff, click the like button and subscribe and let's dive right in. So the left section right here, you have the different presets. So it's not only names, but you can see the waveforms and the colors. It's super nice to navigate. You can search for different things. So let's say I want to load a flute. I can just type flute and it will show all the flute presets over there. Um, to load them, you just right click, click load, or you can drag and drop them into the preset field over there. You can also double click on them to load them. So it's really intuitive. And if you prefer, you have the regular menu type where you have different categories like pad, orbits, acoustic, bass, drone, lead, noise, keys, and a bunch of artist presets. So you have a ton of presets. Now let's listen to a couple of pads since granular synth usually shine with pads. So let's try a couple. That's beautiful. Now let's try something different. Let's go into the bass presets. That's cool. Now let's dive into the UI a bit more. Uh, this section over here, if uh, you drag, if you click drag, you see that the different layers are divided by six different layers. Uh, the way that it works is it takes one WAV file. So it's usually one WAV file per preset, but it will decompose it into six different timbers. So they're called timbers inside of Novum and you can see them there. You can enable them or disable them. For this specific sound, let's listen to the different timbers individually to try to understand what it's doing. So this one, So less low frequencies. So it's really interesting how all these different layers will make one big and rich sound like that. One really cool thing as well is that you can import your own WAV files. So let's say I open the media bay. I'll do it a bit later and I'll show you guys and you just drag and drop it over there. It will decompose it as well. So that's really cool. Now let's go into the next section over here, uh, which is basically the processing section where you have a uh, Timber. timber will allow you to change the timber of the different decomposed layers. So for example, this one, let's say we solo it. I can make it a bit more digital if I want, or noisier, or more organic. So you can really change the color of the different layers that way. There's also a bunch of other controls that you have here, like the grain size. Uh, when you see this button right here, it means that it will apply to all the different timbers. So if I change the grain size, it will apply to all of them. And if I unlock it and I select one specific timber, it will only apply to that specific timber. So it's really powerful. Then you have density. Uh, 
Again, you can unlock it if you want. You can sync it with your DAW as well. You have some position jitter. So if you look up here, you'll notice that it will spread a lot more, the different grains. You also have some skew and some time jitter. So that's the timber section over there. We also have an envelope. Uh, you have speed, uh, the start position, um, the L1 and L2, and an offset. If you want it to start with an offset, you can also control it visually. Once again, you can control it for the different timbers if you want, and you can even draw a specific section. Let's say I would like this one to be louder over there. I can just draw it to be louder if I want. That's really powerful and really cool. Now we have a sin section. Um, this is where you get all the pitch options and you also have filters and other really cool, cool stuff. So let's play around with it. Obviously you have a transpose. And all of these settings can be modulated. There's a modulation section over here. I'll show it to you a bit later. You have a pitch, and a detune, and you also have a glide and a pitch pen. Now, Sintify, it's kind of hard to explain, but here we have a filter, so usually the filter will just uh, be a low pass filter, so it will remove some high frequencies. There's resonance as well, and there's some type of dirt and distortion that you can select and play around with. It's really tasty, really beautiful what it does. But the Synthify does the opposite of what a filter would do. It will add some higher frequencies. I think it's using a synth under the hood to generate some higher frequencies. So you can get some really cool and creative textures. And once again, you can modulate all of those things. Over here, one thing that I really like, we have a cum filter. completely change the sound. I love that kind of stuff. It's super creative. Now, if we move on, we have an effects section and we have a bunch of effects that we can put in series or in parallel. So you have a lot of control. We can see that there's already two choruses and one clouds. We can add, for example, a shimmer. Filter it a little bit. Really cool stuff. You have a panic button. If the tail gets too big, it's always useful to have a panic button on top. Uh, you don't see it right now. And you also have the modular section. Now, this is what I was talking about. Over here, we have a bunch of modulations. Uh, we can add some. There's already a bunch added to this preset, but I can add some LFO, some ADSR, and a bunch of different modulation sources. So let's try to add an LFO. And the way that you assign it to a specific function is quite easy. You just click on a field and you drag this wheel right beside the uh, modulation source. So now I just added some LFO to the transpose. I can put it in negative instead. So I just added some movement in pitch by adding an LFO. Let's say I also want the LFO to affect the Synthify, I can just do that as well. How cool is that? And the beautiful thing is not only can you modulate every single knobs and buttons and, and functions in the plugin itself, uh, but you can change specific timbers if you want. So let's say I like this preset, but I would like to change this one over here. I can take another preset and just load it, drag and drop it there. Let's try another one, this. 
can get really interesting. So you can morph some sound together and apply the same process so they're still glued together and they sound like one big preset. So it's really, really cool. Now, just for fun, let's try to drag and drop one of our sound. Um, I don't know. One, one. Let's, let's try this one. I don't know what the result will be like, but let's try it out. So right now it's using this wave file, but it's applying the processing of the preset that we were in. So if we want to initialize it, uh, we can do so. So it's pitch because I'm playing it on a keyboard. I can play chords if I want. Now, the cool thing is that you can lock the timbers and the envelopes and switch between the different presets and it will load all the processing of those presets while using this specific wave that I imported. So let's try that. And that's crazy. Now, if you have a sound that you like, but you would like to tweak and get creative with, you drag and drop into Novum and you try different presets and processing and it's super cool what you can do. Now, it's separated into two different uh, sections over here. We have one envelope section and one timbers section. So I locked both to keep the exact envelope of the WAV file and the timbers. But if I unlock, let's say, the envelope section, I could go into like a drum loop and it will basically emulate the rhythm of a drum on that way file. So it's super powerful. Let's try something just for fun. Um, uh, this preset over there. So again, it's using the timber that I import manually, but it's applying different envelopes to it and processing. If that's not beautiful, I don't know what is. Honestly, uh, this synth is so powerful, but really easy to use. I'm really impressed by what this company is doing. They also have other plugins. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. So make sure to check it out. As usual, if you like that kind of stuff, click the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.